What's going on my friends, my family, my fellow gamers? It's your boy Porter Rock 77 coming back at you with another video. All right, check out the description box. You'll see the link to my Twitter. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you stay and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell so you can get notifications and stuff. And then later on tonight, um, around 8.30 p.m., I'll be starting up with my um, you know, Sony press coverage for the E3 2018 all right, um, conference, okay? But right now, I'm going to talk about my review, or not even say review, my post opinions of the conference real quick. And then obviously, as you see from the description title, how you slaves is off the hook. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to start off with the conference. Overall, I give the conference a B. And I'm going to explain why I give it a B, all right? Number one, I didn't come in with the expectation that Microsoft was going to show new IPs. I did not have that expectation. Why? Because I know it takes studios, right? And it takes time and an incentive. I even say the user incentive. Intent is a better word to make those games. I stand by. I, st uh, I repeatedly said, if you paid attention to me throughout my podcast, on other people's podcasts, that I don't think Phil ever came in in 2014 with making killer games, AAA games, as a priority for Xbox. I've said that plenty of times, all right? And that's why I didn't come in this Microsoft E3 conference with that expectation of me seeing a brand new um, AAA IP for this console releasing anytime soon. I did not see that at all, all right? To me, Phil just had the intent of boosting backwards compatibility, boosting Game Pass, boosting services, features, game gifting, refunds, all that stuff, all right? But I didn't see him come in day one to, oh, empower as well with the Xbox One X. But I didn't see him come day one, hey, we got to have some great games ready for 2018, 19, or whatever. I didn't see that from him, okay? I see him that now, and we'll talk about that, only because he's getting a blowback and bad reaction. I think now Phil realizes power didn't help. Refunds and services and game gifting didn't help, okay? All right? So I never came in with that expectation. But I'm not knocking you guys who did that's perfectly fine if you guys came in with the, uh, well, this E3, Microsoft better show me some exclusive AAA IPs. Well, I'm not messing with Xbox. I get that. I'm not here to say that my view has to be your view. I'm not here to tell people what to do. You understand know what I'm saying? I'm just giving you my opinion, being, my, being informative I can, right? So I didn't come in with that expectation. So why did I give it a B? Because there were things that Microsoft did that I honestly did not expect. Number one. Was there support for Japanese games? Yes, they're multi-plat. I get that, right? But Microsoft put them out on the stage. They put that out to show gamers, especially Xbox gamers who talk shit about Jap crap, right? That they're important and that Microsoft supports it. So it was cool that Devil May Cry 5 was on stage. It was cool that uh, Shadows That Twice was on stage. It was cool seeing, what is it, um, Jump Stars, or not Jump Stars, some shit, whatever. That multi battle game was on stage. That was cool. Because Microsoft, at the corporate level, you know, doing things for Xbox, they got Japanese games back. Is it gonna sell more on PlayStation? No, it's not. Most people are going to play these games on PlayStation. Are they exclusive to Xbox? No, they're not. But I like the messaging. They put it big on the stage. They telling the message to the goddamn slaves that Japanese games are important. They're great games and they're worth being played on. So that's, I hold that as a high regards, because from this point on, let one of those slaves come on my channel to talk about Jack crap. Because I'm just going to throw that right in your face and be like, listen. Your overlord, your master, Phil, demands you like Japanese games. So obey. Since you like slaving for Microsoft, obey. Microsoft went on stage, they put Japanese games on the big stage, so you need to obey. Deal with it. So I hold that as real big, because hopefully that will change the culture of, from these morons killing the fucking brand and the gaming community within Xbox. That's number one. Number two, I like the fact that they announced that they bought five new studios. Yes, Playground Games only made exclusives um, for Xbox. Um, what you call it? On their labs, the projects they made was exclusive to Xbox. But that doesn't mean that they couldn't have went somewhere else. Look at Insomniac. For a while, Insomniac was only making games for PlayStation. Then they started making multiplayer games, and then they made an exclusive for Sony. Why? Because Sony never locked down Insomniac. I'm not saying or advocating that they should. That's not what I'm saying. 
But now Microsoft ensured and certified that they have developers that will only make games for their platform, all right? That means those developers will continue to make games specifically for the Xbox. There is no question. So the next time Playground Games makes a game, it's no question that it's not a multiplayer. On their Labs makes a new IP, no question. Ninja Theory's next IP, no question. Xbox, obviously PC, all that shit. But what I'm trying to say is it's not going to be a multiplayer that's on PS4. And I like Ninja Theory games, right? So that's a good way for me, you know, that's, that's something on Xbox that I actually gravitate to for the first time. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually a fan of Ninja Theory games. So I'm like, man, this is cool. Also, Ninja Theory was a small studio. Now they have a big publisher, and I hope Microsoft does right by them. Give them the budget, make them make big games. You know, kind of like what Sony did to help them out with, um, um, what should we call it? Heavenly Sword and stuff like that. To which now that we realize, you can forget about a sequel to Heavenly Sword now, because that's pretty much not happening, unless Sony gives it to somebody. Which is a good video. Who should do that? For now, I would say Platinum Games. But anyway, separate conversation. So I like that. I like the fact that Microsoft... Got new studios, and I understand that has nothing to do with the Xbox One now. I get that. But at least they did something. All right? There's no question they want their studios to be bigger. Now, is it going to be better than Sony? That all remains to be seen. But at least they're trying. At least they're starting, up. At least they're starting it up and building a portfolio. Yes. Should have they done that four years ago? Yes. But they're doing it now. You know, so they're taking serious now. They're obviously listening and they start somewhere. And here's the crazy part. It's not going to stop there. Or at least I hope it no. Nothing says that more studios over time will not be acquired. So that's cool, right? Is it something we could take advantage now on the Xbox One? No. But at least it's something, and I honestly did not expect that at all, especially the purchase of Ninja Theory, right? And then finally, they started out the conference, you know, and they supported the Xbox fans that preferred that platform with their games. You know, Gears... Forza and Halo. Granted, it's a knocking joke. I get it. Halo gives a Forza. Halo gives a Forza. Go listen to Kid Smooth's video. But at least they're still with that, okay? I get that. And now they're trying to do something different with Halo. I guess this big open world stuff. All right? So I get that. All right? So those are the positives. My negatives. Number one, lots of multiplats, which I get it. Majority of the industry is multiplats. I get that. All right? But if you're going to show me multiplats, you have to do what's in it for me on Xbox. Why should I get your multiplayer on Xbox? All you're showing me is a multiplayer, which is fine, but I could do that on another platform. Tell me, Microsoft, why the Xbox experience is better. And nine times out of ten, it's going to be exclusive content. They didn't mention not one exclusive content for the Xbox. So I have no vested interest in playing these multiplats because it's not going to be better than the PlayStation. Got it, Xbox One X. I don't got an Xbox One X. So that's irrelevant to me. I don't even have a PlayStation Pro. Irrelevant to me. For me, irrelevant. Maybe for some of you, the minority of you that have Xbox One X, sure, playing in 4K, 60 frames, textures, on problems 4K, I get that. But you guys ain't the majority of the industry. So if that's your reason, cool. But that ain't my reason. I don't own an X. So why should I buy these multi-plots on Xbox? What good does it do me? You understand what I'm saying? And you know what's funny? Let's say like Red Dead Redemption, right? Let's say if I did own the Xbox One X, I would play Red Dead Redemption on PlayStation over Xbox. You know why? Because Red Dead got exclusive content. And 4K is not better than content. I'd rather play a game with more content in 1080p than a game with less content at 4K. I, content is what brings the enjoyment, not the 4K, all right? Content. You see what I'm saying? That's just facts. That's just reality, all right? Microsoft did not show their multiplats having more content. So what the hell am I supposed to do with that? Cool that you showed it. Cool that you unveiled Kingdom Hearts. Again, more Japanese thing. Devil May Cry, more Japanese. Put it on stage. Cool with that. But why do, should I care about Xbox having these multiplats? Now, if you primarily play on multiplats on Xbox, okay. That's your preferred console. Fine. But those games are on PlayStation 2, right? That's just the reality. So that's not a big deal. Number two, they didn't show Halo gameplay or whatever, which is fine. They want to give a teaser trailer. Cool. But it would have been nice, similar to what Sony did with God of War, they present the God of War first time and they show the change of what they're going to do. They, they re, they're reimagining whatever you want to call it. Microsoft didn't do that. It was just a trailer. And that trailer is fine because at least we know they have this Halo Infinite shit coming. But I would at least like to see more about it. Right? But they didn't. And then the last negative part, 
No new AAA IPs. Again, I wasn't expecting it, but it would have been a nice, surprise if they, a nice surprise if they could have showed at least one. And as expected, they didn't. I'm sorry. No new AAA IPs? And the way it sounds like it's probably not going to happen for the rest of the gen? You know, cool. You might get a Gears 5. Great announcement. Forza every year? Got it. And maybe this Halo Infinite. Which we didn't see much gameplay on it, but it's all right though, okay? But no new AAA franchises. Not even a Fable teaser, okay? Not even a reimagined Fable, nothing, all right? So overall, I think it was a good conference because again, there were some nice surprises. I like the messaging with the Japanese support and I like the Buff 5 Studios. But as far as it being great, it's not great. There's no new IPs, all right? And this is where I'm gonna start attacking you slaves all right because there is one major major negative shit about this conference all right and i'm surprised you xbox dudes ain't flipping out this is why yo y'all dudes are tripping microsoft on this conference and i haven't been again i went on hard on this all right you know i made my comments i'm putting on it but i haven't went in hard but i'm gonna go in hard now because you bums ain't doing it so i'm gonna do it for you because somebody gotta do it how the hell is the gear strategy game exclusive to PC, dog? And you guys ain't flipping out. You just letting Microsoft slide with that. Microsoft, you seen the announcement today? Halo 5 is on PC. They put in Halo 5 on PC. They put in Gears 4 on PC. Gears 5 is on PC. All Forts is on PC. All these games are on PC. PC, PC, PC. But the one game they make on PC is not on your box. So tell me, convince me to stick with Xbox next gen. Why would I buy an Xbox next gen when I could get a PC? And I'm not even talking graphics now. Fuck graphics. I'll, play, I'll buy me a $500 PC and play 1080p. Doesn't even have to be better superior graphics. I don't even do that. I'll just get me a $500, $600 PC, $700 PC that at least does 1080p. But in terms of games... Why should I buy a next generation Xbox when I can get every single game on Xbox on PC plus Microsoft exclusives that is not on Xbox? That is why y'all dudes need to talk about. And don't tell me this. You see, this is XCOM. So it's the same type of strategy game that they made um, Gears for, which makes sense. You know, they didn't go with the RTS, you know, StarCraft style. They went with this XCOM. Notice, this is my PlayStation 4. This game is free for PSN Plus. So the strategy does work on consoles. So just from a gaming standpoint, right? It's just straight up gaming. Why would you buy an Xbox when you get the same exact games on PC plus more games? Do not tell me price to performance comparison because I can't see you wanting to pay less but you end up getting less games because you're not getting the same games as PC now. They're making more games for PC. Microsoft, I'm not talking third party, I'm talking Microsoft now. Microsoft is making more games for that platform than it are for Xbox. That shit is exclusive. Ages of Empire on Gamescom, exclusive to PC. They're bringing big AAA games to PC and they're not putting it on Xbox. But all the Xbox games are going to PC. So why would you get an Xbox for less Microsoft games, right? Microsoft's your people. Y'all on this tour the streets doing all this non-profit work, slaving over this company. And they're shitting in your face. They're straight up telling you, you can't have this Xbox only on PC. So what you gonna do, Xbox? You go do something. You ain't doing nothing. So tell me, why would I invest on an Xbox when I get all those games and more Microsoft games? More, more games. And believe me, you guys ain't saying a damn thing. So Microsoft's gonna keep doing. None of us are going out there telling Microsoft, yo, what's going on? What the hell's happening? You know what they're doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, Phil. None of us are tweeting Phil like, yo, Phil. Even, you don't even have to come in and curse out Phil. I'm not saying go curse out Phil or anything like that. I'm not saying anything like that. I'm not saying anything like that. I'm not saying go right now with the pitchfork is and curse him the fuck out. But can you at least say, hey, yo, Phil, 
Is is that Gear Strategy game coming to to Xbox or is it timed exclusive at least? Because I, I it's kind of funny, Phil, that you know all the Xbox games are going to PC, but you don't want to reciprocate on our platform. You know, especially when you when you are talking play anywhere. You know, that that would make the new Gears Strategy game. It's not play anywhere because you can't play it anywhere. You can only play on PC. So can can you help us out and understand, Phil? Is it time exclusive? But eventually you come to Xbox. You know, just just give me give me give me something, Phil, please. That's all you gotta goddamn do. But no, you say nothing. Some of you even went to. Well, I was gonna buy it anyway, so I, I don't get. I give I give two shits. Go, yo, yo, son, son. This Microsoft slave. Y'all went y'all doing too much now. Y'all doing too much now. No 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 no. We we're not doing that here. We're not doing I don't want to hear this. Well, I was gonna buy anyway. Who the do you know how many people were saying I don't fucking buy backwards compatibility games? And you guys are like, well, that has nothing to do with you. You know, it's, it's a consumer-friendly thing. So just because you don't like it doesn't mean other people. And now you wanna use that logic which you fought against for this game, a brand new IP. Yo, I want to know, are you Xbox fans or are you Microsoft fans? Because that's not the same thing. Me, I'm a PlayStation fan. That's it. That's it. I am not a Sony fan. I don't give a shit about their tablets. I don't care that they shut down the computer industry. I don't really care what movies they make. I don't care if they sell the movie properties. I don't care about their banking system. Yo, there was a dude who sent me a Twitter that I guess Sony bought or one, spent $1.8 billion on some shit on music. I don't fucking know. I don't care. I guess he wanted to show that Sony's revenue or something or statues getting bigger because they're acquiring things in music. I don't care about Sony music. I don't even know who they have. I don't care. I'm not going to tweet about that. So are you an Xbox fan or are you a Microsoft fan? Not the same. Because you're an Xbox fan, you would be like, yo, Microsoft, like, can, you, can we have a conversation on why this game's not coming on Xbox? While you're doing Play Anywhere with Xbox titles, there's no Play Anywhere with PC titles. So we need an explanation as Xbox fans. But you Microsoft fans? Yo, I'm sorry, bro, but let's, let's be real. Let's be real. Microsoft, little by little, if they keep doing this, if they keep making games exclusive to PC, but every console game goes to PC, how can you not see that PC is looking more appetizing for gaming micro, the Microsoft way? When you get all the Xbox games on PC and you get even more Microsoft first party exclusives on PC that you cannot play on an Xbox. Curb that shit now. I can't curb it for you. I can't help you. I wish I could, but I'm not a big fan of Xbox like that. I don't have Phil on my timeline. I don't play games with Phil. We don't destiny to each other. He's not going to listen to me. But he's listening to y'all and y'all don't say nothing. A simple comment to him, be like, hey, Phil, can we get an explanation on this? Because we don't understand what's going on. Is it time at least? At least time. Okay, time to screws on PC, then come to Xbox. Something. But they are purposely making PC more appealing because of games. And y'all say nothing. But it's okay. Because you get refunds. Yo, I'm, yo, y'all dudes are wild, bro. I don't know what's up with y'all dudes on this one. I don't know what it is. I, yo, if you, if you guys, and what's funny, some of you dudes are the ones that pay $500 for Xbox One X. I ain't buying a damn Xbox One X. Microsoft did not get $500 for me. Some of you dudes spent up to $13,000, $14,000, $2,000 on hardware just because you kept rebuying different types of models. That's what y'all fools did. And y'all will simply accept Microsoft making exclusives on a platform you don't play on. But yet, you'd be like, damn, Microsoft, whoo, great job hooking up with Xbox. Yet, they're making PC look better. That's all I got to say on that. If, if y'all can't 
relate to that, then you guys are lost in the damn sauce. That's you. That's you problem. But make no... I, yo, I don't know. I can't. I can't right now. You dudes are wild. I don't know. There's no... Yo. I might go PC because it doesn't make sense to get an Xbox. Not because of power and performance, all that stuff. Because, you know, obviously the console is cheaper. But it doesn't make sense for me to support the next console if Microsoft... Microsoft, the actual first party publisher, all of its games is not on that platform. They're making games for another platform, and it's exclusive to that platform. I don't see why getting this platform, the next Xbox, right? When all the games aren't on the next Xbox. All the games is going to be on PC. Think about that. The next Xbox won't have all Microsoft first party games. The platform to have all Microsoft first party games is PC. And that's how it's going to be if you don't say something. Some of you talk to Phil. Get your head out your damn ass. This is not hard. What are you guys doing? Anyway, this is Porter Rock 77. Let me know in your damn comment box. What's up with this? What the hell is going on? All right? Hit me up on Twitter. I'll see you on later on tonight. We're about to kick it. Sony E3 press conference, live reaction on my channel, 60 Frames No Like podcast. I will see you there. You guys take care. And don't forget, you know, if you're new to the channel, you'll see the little end screens. See the little PR77. Hit it. Subscribe. Ah, subscribe. Shit.